Will the St. Louis Cardinals make a serious run at one of the top available sluggers in baseball this winter? This question looms large as the 2024 season winds down and the team faces a pivotal offseason. For a franchise that has missed the playoffs in consecutive seasons, something highly unusual for a club with such a rich history of consistent success, significant changes will be required if they hope to return to postseason contention in 2025. St. Louis currently sits six and a half games out of a National League wildcard spot, and barring a miraculous turnaround in the remaining few weeks of the regular season, they will likely be spectators once again in October. The Cardinals have struggled throughout the season, and their once reliable formula of strong pitching and timely hitting has failed to deliver the results fans have come to expect. With the regular season winding down, the front office will need to take a hard look at the roster, evaluate their shortcomings, and make some bold moves if they want to compete at a high level next year. One of the biggest areas of concern for the Cardinals is their lineup's lack of consistent power, particularly in the middle of the order. While players like Nolan Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt have provided some stability, the lineup as a whole has lacked the firepower necessary to compete with the elite teams in the National League. If St. Louis hopes to turn things around, they will need to address this deficiency during the offseason. Enter Pete Alonso, the New York Mets star first baseman, who is set to become one of the most sought-after sluggers on the free agent market. Alonso has consistently been one of the best power hitters in the game since his debut, and his ability to change the course of a game with one swing would be a welcome addition to the Cardinals' lineup. Alonso's presence in the heart of the order would provide the kind of pop that St. Louis desperately needs, but landing him will not be easy. While the idea of Alonso in a Cardinals uniform is enticing, the odds of St. Louis successfully acquiring him may be slim. As Derek Gould of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch notes, the Cardinals are not known for making massive bids on marquee free agents, particularly when it comes to offensive players. The franchise has historically been more conservative in its spending, preferring to build through its farm system and make strategic trades rather than shelling out huge contracts in free agency. If you don't want to miss the latest news, subscribe to this channel now because we are always attention to the latest news from St. Louis Cardinals. Additionally, the pursuit of Alonso could signal the end of Paul Goldschmidt's time in St. Louis. Goldschmidt, the reigning 2022 National League MVP, has been one of the cornerstones of the Cardinals' lineup since arriving in 2019. However, with his contract set to expire, the Cardinals will have to make a decision about his future. If they were to pursue Alonso, it could indicate that the organization is ready to move on from Goldschmidt, potentially trading him to make room for Alonso or allowing him to walk in free agency. Losing Goldschmidt would undoubtedly be a difficult pill for Cardinals fans to swallow, but the business side of baseball sometimes necessitates tough decisions. Goldschmidt, while still productive, is entering the latter stages of his career, and the Cardinals may view Alonso as a younger, more powerful option to anchor their lineup for the foreseeable future. Moreover, Alonso's ability to hit for power to all fields and his consistent home run production would give the Cardinals a significant offensive boost. His presence in the middle of the lineup, alongside Arenado, could provide the type of one-two punch that has been missing from the Cardinals' offense in recent years. It would also give them a stronger chance to compete in the highly competitive National League Central, where teams like the Milwaukee Brewers and Chicago Cubs have continued to make strides.